The point is that it's not about age or how you classify your sin. It's more about whether you are a grace bearer or taking an honest look and are you being a grace barrier. Because the truth is it's not worth the price that it takes when you're a barrier for someone. So if you're causing somebody else to sin, including pinching your sibling in a pew, I'm watching. If it's a mother, it's okay. That's called a holy pinch. At least that's what my mom told me. But if you are standing between the grace of God and another person's ability to receive it or hear it, then you're being a barrier of grace. Versus if you are a bearer of grace, you are a mouthpiece of the Lord that breathes hope, grace, gospel statement, contraband's gospel statement, in the life of someone else. We actually do that to ourselves too, by the way. It's called guilt. Where we remember the one thing that we did wrong and forget the grace that has been ours since we were infants through the waters of baptism. That's guilt is a stumbling block from ourself to ourselves. Today we're sitting here hearing about the grace of God in church and in a couple of hours the Chicago Bears are going to play the Green Bay Packers and I guarantee at least two people of two people one of us is going to be upset. All of us about, about don't be a stumbling block for someone else. And don't be a stumbling block in your own faith. We fail at more often than we care to acknowledge. That's why Jesus doesn't stop with don't be a stumbling block. He continues on throughout the rest of this gospel reading to say, that's why I put you together. Our Christ has called you to be a grace bearer in that moment. And the next time that your sibling frustrates you, you're a grace bearer. And the next time that you walk with someone through a challenge, or they with you, you are a grace bearer. And nothing will ever separate you from the love of God.